Hi ladies and happy Sunday to everybody. I am so excited. I checked on my new baby's arrival and she's in Arizona. So I'm so happy she made it. At least she's here. She's here in my state. So my heart was like pitter patting when I seen um, that she's actually here. Like she's just one step closer to being in my arms and I'm like freaking out <laughs> and my husband is excited he's like I honestly am really excited about this baby coming um because I showed him a couple of videos on what silicones are because he wasn't really like understanding and um so I kind of just briefed him a little bit about what they were and and how jiggly they are and what what's the difference between her and some other ones and so um we're both excited i wish i wish that some of my really really good reborn mommy friends were here in the room with me when i was opening this box because it's going to be so special to me this is going to be my first silicone and it's like getting a first reborn you know and um Gosh, I just, I'm just so fulfilled right now. I've just got this anxiety and butterflies and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I have an appointment tomorrow early, um, at the dentist for my, um, cleaning. And then, um, that's the only thing I have planned in the morning. So, but there will be someone here at the house too, just in case she comes in the morning. But I doubt it. I, I really believe she'll be an afternoon delivery. <clears throat> so, the only two things I picked up yesterday for her was the powder, the Johnson & Johnson's baby powder, and I got the Magnolia Petals uh, Pure Corn Starch, and um, it smells really, really good. So, I'm excited about this. I opened it already, but I put the sticker back on there because I didn't want it to spill even though it's closed and then I also got this which is so cute um, I have another one by this brand and it's a dark pink I would say with little polka dots and then I seen this one and I thought oh my gosh I have to get it for my new baby and um, I know they're a little pricey. I think they're like four and change. And that's the company. Let's see if it focuses. There you go. Boogan Head. <laughs> Some of the names they come up with. But um, I think this is Darling. And this will be her first little passy clip. So I just picked up those two things. And um, Dana let me know about this one magnolia petals so um i was glad that my walmart had it it was actually in the hba department and not the baby department because when i went over in the baby section they didn't have any cornstarch powder they only had their regular <clears throat> baby powder so that was interesting so yeah i went over to the baby section and i found it there i was like where's her other passy but i forgot i clipped it on here <laughs> So I better put her brush next to her powder. She just got a little bit of things. So cute. It's good stuff though to start off with. And I'm really thinking she's going to be a size 1 now that um, Stephanie told me she tried these on her. And they didn't, they were too tight. So that means she's definitely going to be a size 1. So that means that these two are the only ones I have that are going to fit her. But that's okay. Um, that's just fine. You know, sometimes you got to make um, lemons out of lemonade and, and deal with what you got, right? So I am not going to complain. And then these I'll just have to keep in my collection. I'm keeping, the reason why I've never used these or I've used one of these in the collection is because I was saving these um, for if I've ever had a real baby and I wanted to use these diapers for that baby but you know I'm not gonna hold on to things 
um, that's kind of like my thing this year. I'm trying to let go of certain things that um, I need to let go of. So, you know, yeah. But I'm not going to open that kind of worms right now. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just cleaning the house. Um, my husband's out in the garage cleaning. We went four-wheeling. Um, was it yesterday? No, Friday. Friday, and that was really fun. And now we've got to get the garage put back together and put them back where they go. And then that also lets my husband clean up and stuff. And then I'm doing laundry and cleaning the kitchen. So it's mostly just kind of cleaning, nesting kind of day. Um, getting things ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow is a big day for me. <clears throat> So I just want to make sure everything's done and I don't have to do anything tomorrow, but just sit back and enjoy my new baby. And I think I have a name for her. I'm still like on the fence with it, but the more I use it, the more I love it. And I'm sure you guys have had that happen before. Um, yeah, so the name that, I, that I'm pretty sure she's going to be, but when she gets home and I look at her, then you know. I'll fill it out, but I really like Malia. Um, I don't know. It just kind of popped in my head, and I remember because my cousin's best best friend has a little girl, and her name is Malia, and she's so pretty. And I think I just fell in love with that name ever since I heard it, and I kind of forgot about it, actually. And then um, it popped in my head a couple days ago, and then... I'm kind of liking it, Malia. It's very different. Um, I haven't heard it too many times, but I don't know if it's too much of a big grown-up kind of girl's name and not a baby name, even though we all start out as babies. But um, we'll see when she gets home and if that will fit her. And if not, then I, I can go to another name. Um... I don't really have one on backup, so any name suggestions would be great. Um, keep in mind, I do like more, hmm, what should I say, more unique, but when I say unique, I mean easy to pronounce, easy to spell. When I say it, people are going to be like, huh, how do you spell that, you know, or, you know, Malia is very easy to say and it's very easy to spell. Um, as far as a middle name for Malia, I, I was going to use Rose. That's just a tradition in our family. So I was going to keep Rose or maybe Grace, Malia Grace, Malia Faith. Um, I also like the name Sarai, um, Sarin for a middle name. Um, yeah, so. I'm just babbling now, but yeah, I hope all of you have a wonderful day, wonderful day, and oh, I sounded weird right there at that part, it's probably because my retainer is in, but anyway, um, <laughs> I am just all over the place today, so yeah, let's look at Allie, how about we do that before I say goodbye, oh, you see this pillow right here, <clears throat> this is what you use to travel on airplanes, and I found it in the back of the linen closet and I've actually been using it to um, change alley with instead of using the boppy and kind of going back and forth it's got like these little tiny beads in there and it's really nice and squishy and soft so yeah that's why that's sitting out and here's Allie all wrapped up in her little monkey blanket I still have her in her owl outfit I just can't take her out of it because I love it and her big boo, and I love you, Daddy Pacifier. And her little bear, and that's her little princess toy. And her little dolly. But she was all wrapped up because she was out in the living room with me last night. And I love bundling up the babies and taking them to the sofa and cuddling with them. So she was all wrapped up here, nice and cozy, and then this morning I was like, hmm, should I change you? And I was like, no, because you're just too stinking cute in the outfit that you're wearing. So you're going to stay in it. <laughs> and that's the beauty of having Rayborns, is they can stay in one outfit for a long, long time. 
So, I don't think I'm going to bundle her back up now that I've unbundled her. So yeah, you guys have a great day, and I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday, and you're out doing something, or shopping, or maybe you're just at home relaxing with the babies, or the hubby, or the family, um, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a great day, and stay tuned for tomorrow, yay, I'm excited, I think I'm going to wake up and kind of like make a video, and kind of go through the day, and then the anticipation of her being here, so yeah. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Love y'all. Toodles.